Hello, hello. Um, the news has been full of Steam Deck for the past two weeks since it's been announced, but unfortunately most of the reporting on it has been very Windows-centric, and there seems to be some confusion among people reporting on it about sideloading and what you can sideload on it. So I thought I'd just make a quick video on my Linux desktop uh, showing that you don't need to install Windows for most of your side loading or alternative stores or emulation or any of those things. Um, I'm running Manjaro Linux which is based on Arch, same as SteamOS. I'm um, also running a KDE Plasma desktop, same as SteamOS. Obviously it's not going to be identical 100% but the gist of it is the same and I'll show you what I have installed that uh, is working fine. So let's start with um, other stores. Okay, start with the Ubisoft store. This this Ubisoft Connect, I've got installed. All of these games I play on this very same machine. Some of them, like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, Phoenix Rising, and Watch Dogs Legion, uh, I bought directly from Ubisoft Connect, whereas Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Odyssey, I bought through Steam, um, and typically I play them through Steam, not separately um, through the Ubi Connect launcher, although in theory one can do that. Uh, and then Heroes of Might and Magic, a couple of years ago, I bought with some gift points on Amazon. So all the normal purchase avenues that you have works just as you expect um, in Windows, even though this is Linux. Uh, let's see, next up, Origin. I haven't bought anything directly through the Origin launcher here. All of these are, basic, uh, are here because I bought them via Steam. But they all work great. Jedi Fallen Order, incidentally, is one of the things, one of the games that they've chosen to use as a, as a demonstration app on the, well, on the IGN videos anyway. Okay, uh, next up... Well, you'll recognize this one. It is the launcher belonging to the defendant in California versus Blizzard case number 21 STCV26571. But yeah, all these games, um, Warcraft, Warcraft Classic, Overwatch, Starcraft 2, and not installed on my system, but Diablo 3 also works fine. Very well, in fact. I... I, in fact, I've often wondered whether they don't have someone in-house testing on Linux specifically because both the launcher tends to work really well and not break and also and the the games themselves tend to generally work very well also. So anyway, there's that. Uh, slightly more obscure, uh, the Ankama launcher. I don't know if, if you've played any of Ankama's games before, Dofus and Wakfu. Um, th these are the only three games supported on here, but um, it's, their, it's their main ones. Um, incidentally, Dofus used to have a native Linux version, but they redid it in Adobe Air, which stopped supporting Linux at some point. Um, so they could have just said, nope, we're not going to support Linux anymore. But instead, what they did was um, they've tied it into this launcher, which is native. Um, and it's actually using Wine to launch Dofus and Dofus Retro. So they've, they've found a way to make it work so they don't have to cut off their customers. And that's, that's very nice of them. Uh, next up, slightly more broad. This is an application called Heroic Games Launcher. Uh, the Epic Store does not exist on Linux at all, even though you can run it via Wine. Although this is a far better option. It's a community-made uh, launcher that you can use to uh, buy games and launch games on Linux. And in some ways, I'd say it's better than the native launcher because it's, it's quite lightweight. Okay, RetroArch, um, I'm sure if you're into emulation, you'll know RetroArch. RetroArch is also going to launch on Steam. I see it's currently in the testing phase. It'll get there eventually, I'm sure. It's been there a while in testing. Uh, ScumVM, you'll know if you're into emulation. 
let me see what else I can dig up here. That's oh yeah, this um, I there's a native Linux version of the of the Bad Lion uh, Minecraft installer slash client slash mod manager. Weirdly, I don't have the official Minecraft installer on here. Let's 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 just remedy that quickly. All I should ne need to do is open my package manager, search for Minecraft, and I'll see you see Minecraft launcher over there. Official, yay! Click, click. Type in my password. And it's installed. Okay, wonderful. Oh, it's downloading updates. Nice. And there we go. Minecraft launcher. And for people who like tons and tons of indie games, the Itch Store is also natively supported on Linux. Plus, they have built-in support for wine so if you run windows games from the itch store it will attempt to run it using the wine that's on your system 